what is the difference in between spirituality and religion? Very big difference. Very big difference. Religion is something like a master experienced some great things or found some great truths. And then he or she started professing it, decimating that uh, knowledge, decimating that experience through the words to people who flocked to that person. And then this person says, well, I have seen it and now I will tell you what I saw and now you believe in me. And when a section of people begin to believe and then in time, what happens is, it's a very sad story, but in time, the essence of that great experience which happened is gone and what is left is a certain set of rituals which that person was doing it or was following it or was doing it as a demonstration to explain something to uh, people. But that ritual, that thing becomes the whole big thing. And then how to dress, how to talk, how to speak, how to pray, what words to use, and what times to pray, everything gets preordained by somebody. And then that's written in a book. Because, well, everybody is going to die, whether it is Prophet Muhammad or Jesus or whether it's Sri Rama or Sri Krishna or Guru Nanak or Buddha or Mahavira or any other great uh, beings or prophets or gurus or uh, even the incarnations. You know, in Hindu religion, there are 23 incarnations which happened. In uh, Buddhism, we have many, many lives of Buddha as a different, different person. In uh, Jainism, again, we have their various Tirthankars uh, who happen from time to time. But when the body is gone, the teachings are collected and then the followers, uh, well, followers are going to follow something, but not necessarily what their master had has actually spoken or taught, in time the followers are going to create certain things which might not be related at all with the original master. And then something else is formed and then more and more people join together and then they have a majority and then they have a say and then they flex their muscles and then they say, oh, what we believe in is the correct thing and what you believe in, you minorities, is not correct. And then the politics comes in and the politics game begins and then everything gets corrupted. That's what the case of most of the religions uh, which are there um, existing in the, on this earth at the moment. Everybody says what I am doing is great, what others are doing is stupid. And everybody is trying to convert more and more people onto their side. As I've already said, it's a game of politics and the governments and the money power and everything is working. Uh, the masters were, are very different from one another. Like Sri Krishna and Buddha, two different, very different personalities. But they are going on the direction which is leading or should I say they were living their truth. But then the teachings which comes in, like for one Bhagavad Gita, there are more than uh, 500 commentaries which have been done and they are all different from one another. If you see Christianity, it has been divided into so many sects, the, the Lutherans, the Matthews, the Presbyterians, and Catholics and so on and so forth and everybody has their own take on Bible. Jesus was one person, but there are different sects now who might hate one another. Prophet Muhammad comes, and but after Muhammad, there are Shias and there are Sunnis and there are Qadris and there are so many more others. And they hate one another and they kill one another and everything is happening in name of the religion. 
When we say spirituality, spirituality is the knowing the essence, getting the knowledge of the essence of what truth is. I am not saying what label of God you believe in or what label of holy book you believe in, but I am talking about the real existence. So what is that? What is that truth? So a spiritual seeker is more interested to know directly, clearly and encounter that truth. And he or she is not interested into the organized religions which are functioning at a very different level and everybody is blowing their trumpet and everybody is saying I am greater and, and having those wars in between them. But for a spiritual person these things do not matter at all. Hence the very big difference in between a religious and a spiritual person is going to be there. For example, yoga. Uh, the yoga is not a religion, but yoga is spiritual. It helps you to know who you are. It helps you to master your mind. It helps you to master your body. It helps you to go deeper into contemplation. It helps you to bring you to the point where you can encounter the truth yourself without any you know middle person, without any priest or without any holy books involved in that. Uh, hence any person who is from any religion can learn yoga and revolutionize his or her life and can bring that beauty and grace and knowledge and wisdom to their life. So being spiritual is definitely different from being religious.